Okay, I uh, just wanted to share a video of the latest going on with these actuators. Um, so I've got, uh, you can recognize here, this is the actuator that I shared in the last video, um, but attached to these nice big tires. So these are one-fifth scale monster truck tires that are $25 a piece. These are much more expensive than the $10 a piece tires that are on the Rover. Um, but one real advantage is they are just really sticky. They're larger than Rover's tires in the width. They're just slightly wider, same diameter. And they have foam, so Rover has hard plastic underneath the relatively thin rubber. Um, Rover's much stronger, of course. Um, but you can see here the gearbox isn't completely inside the wheel as it is with Rover. Um, but uh, this is a simple robot that I'm working on. Uh, this uh, That was sort of an, an error that the wheel key now looks like this piece here. So there's a, a nut in there to, and then a special interface to hold the, um, the, the rims on these uh, off-the-shelf tires. But um, uh, the Raspberry Pi with camera is going to go here. I might put it on a a tilting mechanism so it can look up and down. We'll have the neural network processor so you can do some good stuff there. Um, and then you could definitely make two of these assemblies, stick them back to back and make a four-wheel drive. Um, this is uh, uh, just going to be a two-wheel drive so I'm going to take a uh, cantilever out here, a little uh, flying, uh, another thing about this long, so make this a little bit longer. And then I'm going to put a, a caster on the rear, but instead of a wheel, it's going to be a ski. So it's going to be a J-shaped skiing caster on a bearing pivot out uh, coming out of, over here. Um, so this is a simple robot. Um, I'm using this for a classroom uh, project. I'm going to go to Africa in a couple of months and teach some kids robotics at a university there. Uh, it's really cool. Super excited about it. Uh, and I'm making this robot for them. Um, of course, uh, making this for anybody who's interested. So it's uh, CC0 design files, uh, still the same actuator. Uh, the files are in the same place. I've just added pretty much this piece um, and some of these related pieces. Um, of course, you can put any wheel on here you want it. Um, and uh, again, these actuators are made to do more than just work with wheels, but this is kind of the state of this robot. Um, yeah, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, I'm starting to really enjoy getting subscribers, so if you want to subscribe to my channel, I am going to be fanatically working on robots and sharing the videos um, for some, quite some time, I think. Uh, yep, well, that's all for now. Oh, we can do one more thing here. A little hard to see here, but we're uh, that's four feet in the air, and this thing just doesn't care about that. So it's uh, durable, and and the way that that works is that the forces going into this wheel transfer into a shaft that is pretty short, and it's coupled into two bearings um, that are, are mounted here. So the shaft is cantilevered out, but it's very short. So the force goes through the from the wheel into the shaft, straight into these bearings here, and then that transfers up into the frame. Um, so there's uh, not a lot, uh, you know, it's, it's really stout, it's really strong. This is like a 30 millimeter, 35 millimeter diameter shaft, I believe. Uh, yep, all right, that's the robot, thanks.